Well, that was rough. What is up, know-it-alls? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below, and give this video a like. All right, guys, let's get right into it. The Dolphins got shellacked, as Joey likes to say. I officially owe Joey 500 bucks. I will be paying him. Don't worry. That is legit, and we will. I will be paying up. Um, some takeaways I had from the Dolphins game. I thought we looked pretty good in the beginning. The first play of the game, we did that play action with Tannehill, and we threw it downfield. I think it was to Stills. Was that, it was like the only first down we had in the whole first half. And I thought, wow, we got off to a great start. Here we go. And then it was all downhill from there. Um, I don't want to sit here and just complain about the officials the entire time. Um, so I'm just going to make one comment right now, and then I'm not going to talk about the officials for the rest of the video. So I don't think that the officials necessarily – it's not their fault that we got killed. I mean, let's be honest. The Patriots killed us, and it's, it is what it is. But that being said, they didn't necessarily – hurt them i mean they definitely helped them out a lot especially in the beginning of this game the first two scores the field goal and the touchdown both of those drives should have been a three and out to start with but instead on third down it was some controversial call again i'm a dolphins fan but i don't think there was one um pass interference call on xavier howard for holding and i don't think it was very much holding i think it was on cordell patterson um there was another hold uh off ball it was on gronk i think it was um Bobby McCain, I can't remember who it was, or it might have been one of the linebackers. I think it was uh, Baker. But uh, yeah, so like some definitely controversial calls going their way, which helped them sustain drives, and they ended up scoring on those drives when it should have technically been a three and out. And we got the stop. It's not like we didn't get the stop. We had the stop for three and out. So that's all I'm going to say about the officiating. They definitely helped them out a lot, but that's not the reason why the Patriots won. The Patriots beat us. They were a better team today than we were. Let's just get that out of the way. I don't want to complain 100% on the refs. So, all right, throwing the refs away. After that, I thought coming into this game, the number one thing that we needed to do is we needed to sustain drives. We needed to chew clock. We needed to get our running game going. And we didn't do that. I mean, the, the Patriots more than doubled the time of possession on the whole game than we had. So it felt like the whole game I was just sitting there watching Brady on offense. And we were, we were going three and out, three and out, three and out, three and out. We couldn't get anything going. And it was really very frustrating to watch it. Um... Like Gore and Kenyon Drake, we literally couldn't get anything going. I, I don't understand what – I felt like our offensive line, with the exception of last week against Oakland, we were looking really good. And now I feel like we're just stalling a lot. And again, like I say, like Tannehill isn't the guy. We can't just go back and throw 40, 45 passes a game. We need to sustain that run. And not more importantly than that, keeping Brady off the field. Like, it's not like they're super explosive and they just torched us. I mean, they put up 38 points on us. That's a lot of points. But they had so many possessions and so many opportunities. Like, when you give a team like New England with Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, they're going to get, they're going to seize those opportunities. If you keep giving them times and times, as all of the penalties, like giving them a second chance, you give this, this team a second chance, they're going to bury you every single time. You have to take, take advantage of getting the three and outs, getting them off the field. So at the end of the day, I mean, they beat us, and they beat us good. We couldn't get them off the field, and we couldn't stay on the field. To me, those are the number one things. Um, we definitely miss Rashad Jones in this game big time. I, I cannot wait for him to come back. Um, I mean, I guess you could say we miss Devontae Parker, but it's not like he's been crucial for us this season anyways. That guy's always hurt. I don't know how I feel about him. It's just... One thing after the other, I just get healthy. Like, stop, stop being injured. <laughs> I mean, it's easy for me to say that, but I mean, I just want guys healthy. If, if you can't be on the field, what good are you? Um, I thought that we were getting decent pressure on Brady. I know we didn't get many sacks. I don't know if we get even had a sack, but I thought we were getting a lot of pressure, and we were definitely hitting him at the end of his throws. We pressured him into an interception with Bobby McCain. That was a great play. So I don't think that was the issue. I thought we were rushing four to five every single every single down, and we were getting to him, which is the recipe for success to beating the Patriots. So I don't think that that was an issue. I know we're thin at D-line with Pays and Branch out right now, but I definitely think we played fine on that aspect. Um, a bunch of bad calls on Xavier and Howard and 
a lot of holding calls and it was just weird. Minka looked great. Minka had some really big pass breakups and he looked strong. He was throwing dudes down. And I mean, I have a man crush on Minka Fitzpatrick at this point, but that guy was balling in my opinion. Uh, it's weird. The punter, Hawk, he's either going to have the greatest punt you've ever seen in your life or it's going to be a shank. It's like there's no in-between with this guy. He's either going to pin you down on the one-yard line or it's going to fly off his foot and go 15 yards. I'm so frustrated with him. He's wildly inconsistent. So, yeah, bottom line, offense, we need to be better. We need to get out. We need to keep our defense off the field. Like, our offense was so bad, it actually was detrimental to our defense. I don't think our defense necessarily played bad. I just think they were on the field the entire game. And when you're on the field the entire game and you're thin on D-line because we know we're injured, it just – you can't win that way. You get exhausted on defense. I thought we played good enough defense even though we let up 38 points. That's just my opinion. You let me know in the comments down below. Do you think our defense is overrated? Like, did we get lit up this game? To me, it was our offense – being bad enough that it affected our defense just again Patriots had so much time possession so many plays ran on us and you can only hold that offense and hold Brady for so long so what does this mean for the future what does this mean going forward what I believe in sports especially in professional sports you can never get too high you can never get too low you don't want to have peaks and valleys throughout the season you always want to say somewhat even keel so when we were 3-0, and we were riding a high. We were really excited. Now we just got humbled, all right? We had our first loss of the year. We can't get too low. We have to keep the swag. We have to keep the confidence. We are still the best team in the AFC East. We just went up to New England and got destroyed. That's fine. One game, guys. We're still the best record in the AFC East. We're still number one in the AFC East. And as a Dolphin fan, if I told you, hey, this is what's going to happen to you guys. In the first four weeks, you're going to be 3-1. and one. You're going to be 3-1, and one, and your only loss is going to be to New England at Foxborough. On the road, but you're going to be 3-1. and one. You're telling me you wouldn't take that? I would take that in a heartbeat. If someone told me that before the season, I would have been like, I'm all bored. Give it to me. I'm down. So, we're still 3-1. and one. We got humbled this week. We had a bad game. It happens. It happens to everyone in the NFL. We cannot let this define our season, all right? We have to maintain. Again, we can't just say, oh, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It happens. It does matter. We need to watch film. We need to figure out what went wrong, and we need to fix our mistakes, all right? But still maintaining that confidence that we are still a 3-1 and one team. We are still the number one team in the AFC East, and we can't let this have us affect us next week. We can't lose to the Pats twice. And what does that mean? I don't literally mean lose to the Patriots twice. But when you lose an emotional game, like we just went through an emotional game. That was a big game for us. Next week might be a little bit of a letdown. We're going to the Bengals. Oh, who, who really cares? We just got killed by the Patriots. No, we have to keep that intensity. We have to keep moving forward. It happened. Watch film. Learn from it. Lick your wounds. Throw it out the door. It's gone. Game's over. There's nothing we can do about it now. All you can do is focus on the rest of the season because we're still in position to win the AFC East and make a playoff run, all right? Three and one. So we got to learn from it, keep this thing going, and look forward to when we see the Patriots at home. That should be our motivation. All right, you guys got us in New England. That's cool. All right, GG. But hey, we're about to go down to Miami and let's see what happens then, all right? Let's see when everyone's healthy, when we get Branch back. Hayes won't, won't be back, but Devontae Parker will be back. When Rashad Jones is back, when we got all our boys and we're at home. Let's see what happens then, New England. All right, guys, that is the video. Again, tough loss, but we got to learn from it. We got to move on, all right? Just forget about it. It happens. It is what it is at this point. Hey, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Thanks for showing all the love on the channel. Again, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps us grow. Comment down below what you thought about the New England game. Let me know what you think about the refs, how you thought Miami played. Brady's back, or the, the New England Patriots now the favorite? Let me know in the comments. I and of course, make sure to subscribe. Punch it in the face! Alright guys, I will see you tomorrow. As always, fins up, adios, see ya!